Hey guys, so I have a quick video for you guys today and I have a small package that came in the mail and I think this is very important if you own a cop access port. So over the years, I've been looking for an access port mounting solution that isn't clunky, doesn't move around, doesn't vibrate, etc. An easy, portable, or easy to use system that I could take my access port on and off that's very seamless. And uh, I haven't opened this up yet, so let's see what came in the box. Now this came from, I think it's the access port guys. I saw this online and I wanted to try it out for myself and see what all the hype was about. So let's get it out the box. So we have a business card from the access port guys. And looks like have some mounting hardware. Oh, dropped it. And the actual mount itself. Looks like a nice 3D printed, um, piece of hardware here and this is going to go on your vent that is located on top of your dashboard so this is going to replace that vent which easily pops out stay through the video i'm going to show you why this is probably one of the best solutions out there that i have found okay so for most of the time i've been using this clunky magnetic vent mount let me just take my access port out and uh this is just one of those that i got off amazon not too long ago actually over a year ago and it's just a cheap uh mount magnetic mount that you can get on Amazon. So, um, yeah, no longer do I have to deal with this, hopefully, if this turns out well. Also, please keep in mind, I did pay for this product myself. This is not sponsored, so yeah, just keep that in mind. I just gotta put it out there. I don't know why people say that. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take out this trim panel. This trim panel also needs to come off, and this is super duper easy. There is that, put that down there. You're gonna have one screwdriver down here, and uh, we're also gonna pop off this vent right here and trying to do this with the camera in front of me kind of makes it difficult there you go comes out really easily next we're going to get our phillips screwdriver and we're going to take out this panel right here and here's my access port cable hidden nice and neatly all up in there now we're gonna route the access port cable all the way up to the vent. Oh, that's not so bad. Check it out, there you go. Access port cable, right there. So looking at the kit, the kit has two of these little clips, which I assume clip to your access port mount, and they're two different sizes. So I suggest you try both of them out to see which one fits your access port cable. And you want to check the orientation of the access port cable in comparison to the mount, which we're going to get to in just a minute. Just need to find the proper orientation. I think it goes like this. There you go. Why won't it fit? There we go. Awesome. No, oh, that's pretty damn good. I hope it reads. Oh, yes it does. Check that out. So included in the kit, you're gonna have this bracket right here, if I can get that in focus. Focus, focus, focus. So you have this bracket along with some nuts and bolts along with an Allen tool. So I got ahead of myself and I went and tightened these down when I wasn't supposed to yet. So you're supposed to put this in the vent and then tighten those down. I guess there's a reason why the, there's these reset um, spaces, spaces, wow, I can't talk, for the uh, nuts that are in there. So this is supposed to secure this into the mount. So let's go ahead and do that. So I was right, those that bracket kind of holds it in between little plastic kind of sandwiches the mount and that bracket with the dashboard. This keeps popping out. So it needs to stay in there so it doesn't spin. Just trying to do that's kind of hard. Sweet. It's nice and secure. I don't think this needs to be super tight. You know, it's not like where Jeff, he will put, you know, a thousand foot pounds of torque on an eight millimeter bolt. No offense, Jeff, if you're watching this. There you go. That's not going anywhere. And of course, we're just gonna put everything back together. Done.
So now we'll grab the access port. Oh, be quiet. Slip it in there. Oh God, Jesus Christ, ladies. All right, let's get it started. All right, so there you go. First impressions of the access port mount by the access port guys. And so far, first impressions are very positive. Although I will say it does seem kind of loose, but only time will tell, will this handle big bumps and hard corners? So only time will tell. I will review, I will follow up with you guys in a few weeks to see if this will stay secure and stay connected to the cable. One thing I really like about this is that if you need to take it out, you just pop it right out. Let's say you're parked in a sketchy neighborhood and you don't want to leave your cop access port on your dashboard. Just go ahead and just pop it right out. And when you're ready to go back, you just pop it back in. There you go. So essentially these things are not cheap. You're essentially leaving a five, $600 bill on your dashboard. Of course, you're going to want to take it out for security reasons, but so far so good. So far, this is the best access port mount solution that I have found on the market as of now. If you have anything better, please comment down in the description below. I would love to hear it and I would also love to try it out. So another one of those nitpicky things I will say about this mount, it doesn't match your dashboard exactly as far as color. This is or it does look like a 3D printed um, model. So uh, if it really matters to you as far as color matching, this may, may not be the mount for you. But like I said, no more cumbersome suction cup mounts or sticky tape so there it is and uh so far i'm happy with this mount i can't really say anything else bad about it anyways i hope i earned your subscription today if you have any more products that you would like me to review please comment down in the description below and we will talk to you guys later peace out guys